All right, it is fixed time for your safety. We're going with scenario that you bought a gun from a garage sale. And if you see this, you see there's a big hole where your safety is supposed to be. That's where your toggle is supposed to be. You don't, so you don't even have that. Now, a case like that, you definitely call the daisy ladies. This is an OEM video, so we're just going to stay focused on that. You call the daisy ladies and you order a kit. It's about three bucks and that's just getting started so we're going to get into this all right so let's go through the progressions and here is the safety kit it is a bb a toggle and a spring and of course my camera doesn't want to cooperate right now come in clear but anyway so there, there they are and i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can zoom there we go all right there we are there's your bb toggle and your spring Okay, so we're going to go through the progressions here so you understand the engineering of this. And always, I want to make it clear, the hack I have for the safety is singular. I, that was likely the only hack I'd ever do on an 880, and it's not a mod channel, and it's not really a hack channel. O-rings are different because O-rings, Daisy didn't engineer something with very special Daisy O-rings. So that's a different matter. So here's your toggle. Okay, so let's go through the progressions here. You go to a garage sale. All right. And, oh, sorry. It's a little dark where I'm at. All right. So you go through a garage sale. You get a gun that has the toggle. It just has a toggle. Okay, let me get good light on that. It just has a toggle. But as you can see, it's flopping around. Folks, that's not going to work. That is not a safety that you <laughs> you want to rely on when if you're shooting, a target fall, falls over, and then you want to go pick it up. You want to know you can set your gun on safe. I have seen videos of people go picking up a target. They set their gun up like this. It falls over, and they get shot. So the 880 is definitely powerful enough to hurt you, and we don't want a safety like that. That That is no safety. Okay, so then the next progression I want to go over with you is the spring. It's so well engineered, the gun sort of works with the spring, meaning that if it just has the spring in there, there it is, it actually, surprisingly, will still work, but it's not optimal. Now, I'm not saying uh, if you get a gun and you look in there and, you know, it, it's okay. It actually does work. But it's not optimal. It's not smooth, and you want you want to have you want it a little better than that. So if we look at it from this side, okay. So I've had some people tell me that it works fine without it, but it's not very smooth, and I would not want to keep it like that. So it also shows how well engineered the safety is on this. But okay, so let's go through to final progression. So obviously, we get the 3mm BB out. It's 3.175 exactly. Again, 3.175. Now we watch, watch ourselves with the spring here. Okay, and so when you order your kit, you go ahead and put it together. Okay, so that's what it looks like when you get your kit out. Try doing it over a towel somewhere where it doesn't have anything bouncy. I just dodged a bullet on one of these takes. So that ball got away from me because I didn't have it on a towel. And you do have to be careful. Always put it in a bag, and uh, I demonstrate that. Okay, so now we put this in here, and it's fully intact, ready to go. We're going to say you didn't even have one. All right. Now, sometimes it can get a little tricky, so then we try again. The main thing, you don't want that ball flying. Um, it, it can do that. I've heard plenty of people joke about that. So just press it down in there. There we go. Okay. You will get good at it. If you have a towel down, if it does fly up in that position, it won't go very far. So let's take a look at it. Yes, now we're at 100%. Okay, you're good to go. Now... Why would you order, let's say, just a spring and a ball? Well, 
Some people will let me know you can get, well, 753 is what they carry now, but the gun shop made it clear to me that if I have a 753, which I do, they treat it like royalty and they have all the little parts and they basically have a universal trigger for a lot of their, sorry, a universal safety for a lot of their guns. So there is the ball detent and the spring. And there are the parts numbers, and I'll give those to you. Okay, and there are the prices. They're very, very affordable. So I would just say please with, okay, hold on, as soon as it can come in clear. There we go. With prices like that, 10 cents, 10 cents, buy four springs, help a buddy, fix some other guns, keep some in reserve, buy 10 to 20. Now they don't have a number for the, the BB. So you may need to buy 10 or 20 is what I've heard. So go ahead and you can buy 10 or 20. It doesn't matter, not with a price like that. So go ahead and do that. Four springs, like 10 or 20 of the balls. And yes, so you can fix your gun. That's if you don't need a kit, if you had the at least toggle button on there. Okay, now we're going to go through a scenario. Why would you place that order? If, if I have a hack for it, what's the singular hack I have for the 80 because I believe in OEM. And the, and the help from customer service is that, okay, so this is my version of the Quicksilver. Okay, so you buy a gun from a garage sale. Your same day fix-it guy. Well, you're out of luck because, you know, if you if you don't want to do mail order, you, you got a gun that had either 3-in-1, WD-40 squirted in there, and your O-rings and your chamber seal. O-rings and chamber seal are gone. The seal on your pop is gone. If you were really unlucky, you bought a gun, they use firearm oil. And I've talked to some people that, you know... You know, they thought it worked great on their on their guns. They had to work great on an air gun. And they're just too harsh, too harsh of solvents. Or some off-the-shelf uh, motor oils that have lots of additives in it. And Daisy and Crossman don't want you using those. But firearm oil would kill both O-rings, chamber seal, potentially even damage the plastic on your poppet seal and, and your loading bolt here. There's actually a small seal on there. And so a firearm oil could destroy all of that. So you need to clean out your gun and you need to call the daisy ladies because now we have to go place an order. And if we're going to place an order, we're going to order those safety parts, whether you need a full on kit or just the, just the, maybe just the BB, potentially probably the BB and the spring, you're going to order those and you're going to order a couple seal kits. I'll put all this in the written section. Please toggle the arrow. People don't always do that. Please toggle the arrow on my channel. I usually put stuff in there. You're going to order two seal kits. You're going to order a poppet. And you're going to order whatever you need to fix that safety. All right. And that's tops with shipping and handling for a little tiny order like that, where the biggest thing is your valve. That's going to be like $15 tops. So let's say you got the gun for five bucks. We'll say 10 bucks, but that's still a very good deal. And uh, you get the pride of uh, bringing it back to life, which people really, many times, really enjoy doing. So that's how it is. And again, in this case, you got it from the garage sale for, you know, for 10 bucks. But unfortunately, like, even if it's pretty like this, is that they used the wrong oils and destroyed the insides of it. You need to call the Daisy Ladies. They'll take care of you. That's going to be roughly a $15 order. If it's less, great. And you uh, order all those parts, including the safety parts, whether it's a, whether it's a kit or or just the BB, or if it's the BB and the spring, if you don't have those, order, order all that. Okay, well, thank you.